All right, we're at it again. Cooking and drinking. Got my little drinking horn right here. Some Svedka and uh, I don't know, Coke or something, I don't know. Who cares? We're making some fruit pizza. Cause it's T's birthday. And we're getting crazy. Like we always do. So let's get this show on the road for T. Everybody's favorite nurse. All right, so here we go. We are going to first come over here and get this oven at 350 to get that preheating. 350. We're gonna take some uh, cooking spray and I couldn't find a round pan. I don't, not that it matters, but this is like 12 inch by whatever, whatever. And we're just gonna spray it. And don't mind if my kitchen's a little, whoa, dirty because I just got done cooking something else. But we're gonna wipe up all this excess grease because that sure in hell ain't necessary. All right, take your cookie dough. Get her cracked open. Take your cookie dough. Crumble it into your pan and make the dough, obviously. As a cooker and a drinker, sometimes you just gotta do some shady shit. So we're just gonna, like that, go like this, and that's filled in enough. You know what, Tierra, if I wouldn't have took that damn bite out of there, you'd probably have enough to cover this hole dealio so now we're going to set that aside until that oven is heated up okay eight ounces of cream cheese come on cream cheese get all your cream cheese because that makes any meal all right third of a cup of sugar, third cup of sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. We're cool enough, we know what a half teaspoon is. Just like this. And if you go over with the little vanilla, that's fine because everybody digs vanilla. Can't go wrong with vanilla. But it don't take much, like I said. There we go, that should be great. Get what little remaining action we got off there. All right. That should be good enough. Scoop that around. And now, what we're gonna do is we're going to get to chopping some fruit up. All right, we're going in, boys and girls. For about 16 to 20 minutes. Or until golden brown. Everybody knows what golden brown is, so we'll see you back. <clears throat> All right. As that crust is getting uh, golden browned, we need to start chopping up some of our fruit which is gonna be blueberries. We're not gonna chop blueberries up, that'd be kinda of silly. Strawberries, banana. And yes, Tierra, I'm cutting this up, so don't get too excited. But basically, since I, I mean, you know what a chopped banana looks like. And then we're just gonna quarter these uh, strawberries however you'd like them. I like doing mine like this. Nice, pleasant look. Got a little action left. 
take them, throw them in the garden, plant new ones. So I'm not going to make you sit through this. We'll be back when that's golden brown. These are chopped and we're ready to put it together. All right, we're about 16 minutes and 15, 16. I'd call that golden brown. So we're going to clear that off. We're going to get our golden brown crust out. Shit. Should probably use two hands so it don't break the dang crust up. Like that. I mean, you don't want the crust all breaking up. Get that. You're going to let it cool completely on a wire rack. I'd say that's golden brown. Shit. All right. Good damn thing I bought two of these cookie doughs. T wouldn't be getting shit for her B day tomorrow. Because if you just seen what happened, uh, we need to remake this. So I'm going to do that process over. When it's golden brown, we'll be back to put the fruit on. All right, since we messed up the first batch of the fruit pizza, look at that, I dropped it on the floor. Now we're making a new one. Now we're going to make a drink. We're going to make the Batman. You gotta try this tea. Okay, so we need a half ounce of vodka. Get it in your little measuring cup tumbler. Half ounce of vodka. A splash of vanilla extract. Just a splash. That's what I like calling a splash. And then two ounces of root beer. A and W. So let's flip her over. Because this is a two ouncer. Ooh, let that foamy get down. Call that a half ounce. So then we need another like that. And then one ounce of spiced rum. Oh, the helmet. Okay, wrong lid. And then one ounce of spiced rum. So I'm going to have to get my honey's rum. Because I don't drink rum. One ounce. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add. Get a little bit of ice in there, too. You're going to want ice in it. And then we'll just give her a little shaky shake. Look how easy that is. It's called Batman. First time I've ever had something like this. Huh. That tastes like, uh, tastes like root beer. That's amazing. You'll probably get hammered and slammed on something like this then. That's all it tastes like. What have we got in there? We got a half ounce of vodka and one ounce of rum. Yeah, you better be careful with that. It tastes just like a root beer. Alrighty, let's get back to cooking. Okay, here we go after the disastrous first sugar cookie crust. Here we go getting the second one out. It's done. And I'm going to use both my patties to get it out this time. So clear off. Chew. That's hot. All right. Well, look at that. Now we're going to set it on a wire rack until it is completely cool. Then we'll come back and do the cream cheese topping and put the fruit on it so we'll be back as soon as i get done listening to my girlfriend tell me her work stories all right we're completely cooled off and that looks and smells delish so let's get the 
let's get this ending going on. We're going to take our cream cheese mixture that we made earlier and we're going to ploop it and plop it right there. And then we are almost good to go. All right. Here, oh yeah, there we go. Just a little more over here. There we go. Can't get any better than that. Take a lick. All right, now let's get the fruit on. We're gonna start off in the corners with the blueberry. Blueberries. And I'm trying to make this symmetrical as possible. If that even makes sense. Blueberries, bananas. Strawberries. And I even got the strawberries cut up into different sizes. So, we'll do the big pieces first. And then we will go back to blueberries. This time we'll make the, the line a little thinner. Banana, strawberry, blueberry. All right. Blueberries are good for filling in corners. You gotta know that. All right, let me get another strawberry over there. Squish that down yonder. Give me another little strawberry. Put it there. Yeah, it looks okay. Um, so that's how she's looking. But we're going to do a double layer. That's what we're going to do. Because we got all this fruit left. So now we're going to zigzag the other way. And we're going to start with bananas. All right. I think that's good. And now we're going to pop this in the fridge overnight because my girlfriend is taking this to work for her coworker. But we ain't done because we're never done here at Cooking and Drinking. So we're throwing some Smucker's Magic Shell on this baby because guess what's going to happen? After we put this in the fridge with magic shell on it, that magic shell is going to harden up and it's going to be beautiful. So let's just drizzle. Because that's the best thing to do chocolate. Drizzle. That is pretty. All right, so I'm not going to taste test this because, like I said, this is for my girlfriend's co-worker's birthday tomorrow. But I might make one tomorrow like this or similar and then taste test. So thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs sideways if that's how you like it. You know, all that bell and everything else and blah, blah, blah. We will see you in the next round.